Okay, let's take a quick look at one possible way to achieve a person walking and then sitting down in place in a specific location. Uh, this is certainly not perfect. A lot, a lot of foot sliding going on here. Hopefully uh, things like that will be remedied very soon in the new iClone. But uh, right now let's take a quick look at a potential way we can get a person to walk and then sit where we want them to sit. So uh, let's kind of start from the beginning. Okay, we're back basically at the beginning, kind of how I started this little project. Uh, originally uh, tried to do this with Mason, and uh, if you right-click, you can bring up his uh, persona activities, and one of them is walk forward. But for some reason, Mason doesn't want to walk forward, and I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing or uh, whatever, but uh, he just didn't seem to work correctly. Uh, Heidi, on the other hand, seemed to work just fine. Uh, as you can see, before I do that, uh, laid down a path. You hit the Create, Create Path button, and you can lay down these nodes. And I basically just laid down a real simple path around to my bench. This was the original bench, which you'll see is a little bit different from the one in the final animation, and we'll talk about that in a sec. Let's choose uh, Heidi. I'll bring her over here close to the path. Don't have to. But now I'm going to right-click on Heidi, say Move, Walk Forward. You can either click here on this node on the path or click over here. And I'll just click over here, and now she will do the walk. Uh, not perfect walk, a little bit of sliding going on there. But for our purposes, this will show you, a, as I say, a down and dirty way to get her to sit. And really does a weird thing there at the end, which is pretty hideous. Uh, now let's once again right click on Heidi and let's do a perform, which uh, she can stand to sit. And she can sit, obviously the wrong direction. Of course, I don't have the cloth simulation turned on, which is okay for now. So there we go. Certainly not perfect in any way. Uh, but that'll give us the basics of what we need to do. Now let's go back and open up our animation timeline. We've got uh, stand and sit here, which has been generated very nicely. And then we've got this uh, end walk, which I kind of want to adjust a little bit here. Because that's pretty hideous. Okay, she kind of comes to rest right about there. The feet are together, as you'll see there. So I am going to... Uh, chop that off. I'm going to right click on the animation and do a break. So now I've got a little separate segment there. And this is that weird move where she goes way forward. Uh, I'm going to kind of take that off and uh, let's just let's just uh, break this here. Let's see if this will work. You'll have to probably experiment with this a little bit to get it right. But let's uh, delete that. All right, now let's tuck this back up here and try a little, little funky there. Try to just get it a little better, a little cleaner on that last step, which for now our purposes, you can get it pretty close. So uh, just be aware that that is possible. I'm going to let me uh, change the timing of that clip. There we go. So it makes it a little bit better than it did anyway. Put it that way. Okay, now let's bring our stand to sit animation. And once again, you can adjust the ease in of it. And there she goes. Okay, it takes a little bit too long there. I'm going to trim off a little bit of that wait time. I'm going to break that portion. And uh, so she'll start sitting a little quicker. Okay, very good. And now uh, the real cheat that we're going to do here is just change the transition uh, point here. I'm going to uh, double click on the transition to add a keyframe there. Put a transition and then here and we'll bring up our uh, gizmo and we'll rotate her. And so now just basically sit like so. Okay. And uh, once again, you can tweak that. Now, you can add some keyframes here, maybe, to make this uh, foot move a little bit so it's just not a real 
static rotation, as it were. Uh, you can animate that foot moving a little bit, a little shift in the body weight to make the rotation into that sitting position better so it won't look quite so robotic. And that will be a very good thing. Uh, I'll let you do that, but feel free. You can add some more keyframes, uh, not transitions, but uh, you'll bring down the uh, motion layer and add some motion keyframes there. So that'll be something you could do. Okay, so now uh, let's see. The other problem is this bench came, I think, from a pack called Sandy Bay, and it's obviously uh, not large enough. She's sitting above it there. So one thing you could do is uh, resize it to fit as she sits, and we can tweak that a little bit. Let's go in here close and see right here. We want to enlarge it a little more, and then be sure to remove object animation. And so now when she sits, uh, it will fit a little better there. Okay. And once again, adding some keyframes there will make that turn even better. But that's basically uh, one quick down and dirty way to get someone to walk on a path, any path, and uh, make them sit in a position. So uh, hopefully that helps. Gives you a couple of ideas. You can certainly improve on that. Of course, then you can turn on your uh, detection here, all the cloth simulations. Uh, be sure to bake that if you need to, and uh, I think you'll get it. So I hope that helped.